luxury worldwide webinar. So I would like to introduce everybody or doing what I normally do, let everybody introduce themselves. So Polo, we've not seen you for a while. Tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is today, please. Thank you, Sarah. I'm very happy to be back. Hello, everyone. And good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, so I'm representing uh, the state of Nayarit in Mexico, Western Mexico today. Uh, and we'll be traveling to the uh, coast of this uh, state, so the Riviera Nayarit coast. Uh, and my price today is a voucher, a 50 pound or equivalent uh, voucher, Amazon voucher. So, yeah, see you later. I'll be at the end. Uh, so, yeah, see you later. Thank you, Polo. We've also got Peter in his lovely pink shirt. Pink Peter, how are you? Hi there, everyone. Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing. We support the uh, sales and marketing of the Barbados's newest hotel. It's called Wyndham Grand Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. And we're here. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about that and bring you up to date on how it's progressing. Um, your prize today is a £50 or a US, $60 US dollar credit to your My Booking Awards account. So please pay attention and I'll give you the answer in my presentation. So the secret is pay attention to the presentation. Thanks again. Thanks for everybody for turning up. Super, thank you. And just before I introduce Arenia, um, I just want to let you all know that listen to the presentations very carefully. We do the question towards the end. Now, everybody that's on the webinar today gets one prize draw point. If you are the fastest finger with the correct answer, you get 10 points. You are still then entered into a spin to win, and I will let you know the winner tomorrow. So lastly, but not least, we have Arena. Arena, hello, welcome. Hi, Sarah. Hello, everyone. I'm Marina from Banyan Tree Dubai, um, and our prize is today £25. Super. And Arena, over to you. You're going to kickstart us off on our luxury worldwide web webinar in Dubai. Let me share my screen. Yes. All good. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Thank you for your patience. So we are Banyan Tree Dubai, and uh, this is a newly opened resort on Blue Water Island. And as you might know, Banyan Tree is all about the sustainability, um, about the wellness and the well-being. So that's what we are trying to create in our resort is a little sanctuary for you, for your clients. So whenever you're on holiday, you need to uh, relax, forget all your daily problems and uh, sit back and just enjoy the views. The key selling point of the resort is our location. We are at Blue Water Island. We're surrounded by the sea, by the green palms. Everything is natural here. Um, which is very uh, rare in Dubai. So you, ha you have the birds singing around you, um, you have a real ocean, real waves, uh, no construction around, um, just the serenity and the tranquility. So uh, a little bit more about the location for those who are not familiar with Dubai. We are at Blue Water Island, but do not be confused by the word island. We are not uh, separated from the mainland. We are not in the middle of nowhere. We are actually in the middle of the most um, touristic attractions. We are just within the walking distance from the JBR. You can see it here behind the JBR area. The island is connected to the JBR by the bridge. It will take you only uh, 15 minutes to walk from the hotel to the JBR. Um, you can easily walk to Dubai Marina. It will also take you around uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, just don't do it in summer. But for now, in March, it's just the perfect weather for the stroll. Um, the island itself has a lot of attractions, a lot of activities for, um, for all the tourists, um, a lot of restaurants, bars, coffee shops, there is a kids playground, Madame Tussaud Museum, there is a supermarket, um, the pharmacy, the mosque, everything that the client needs for the perfect holidays. 
um, just to understand on the map, so um, the island is uh, right here. This is Dubai International Airport. It will take you only 30 minutes from Dubai International Airport to reach the hotel, 30 minutes from Al Maktoum, and whoever is arriving to Abu Dhabi, it will take them 45 to 50 minutes. There is no traffic to reach the island. Um, it's easily accessible from Sheikh Zayed Road, and like uh, the marina area and the palm, you are always stuck in the traffic, and this is the last thing that you want during your holidays to waste uh, the time for traffic. And then uh, if you want to go to, to the Palm area, it will take you around 25 minutes and to um, downtown is around 25 minutes as well. So everything is very accessible and very close. There is only one hotel on the island. This is Banyan Tree, Dubai, uh, with Banyan Tree residents behind it. Uh, there will be another hotel opening, um, the second building here is the uh, future Delano Hotel, which will be opened by the end of this year, and it will be a lifestyle resort. Um, the private uh, beach uh, belongs to both properties, um, and nobody else can use it apart the hotel guests. All other buildings that you see on the island are the private residences, and they don't have access to the facilities of the resort. So the hotel has 178 rooms with one villa. Villa is here on the side. This is our new project um, with the private entrance from the boulevard of the island with the private pool and the beach area over here. The residences are um, the, uh, the apartments that we rent for the long stays from 30 nights and more. Uh, we have one, two, three, and four bedrooms with a fully equipped kitchen. So for those who wants to stay in Dubai a little bit longer, that will be a perfect solution. Um, the, as I mentioned before, the key selling point, point of the resort and obstructed sea views, that's exactly the view that your client will, uh, will get, especially if they book a sea view rooms. Um, the rooms look like that. Um, the banyan tree, as I mentioned, is all about the sustainability. Everything is natural here. A lot of um, organic uh, colors, uh, natural elements. We have all the rooms with the balconies that help you even more to reconnect with the nature. Imagine yourself there, sitting at the balcony in the morning, drinking the coffee, enjoying the sea views. Um, so it's very easy to differentiate uh, the rooms. We have only four contracted room types. The standard rooms is the Bliss guest room overlooking the boulevard of the island. Then you have a Bliss resort view room. Uh, it's this, exactly the same as in the uh, picture here. Um, these are the rooms facing the resort, the palms, the pool. You might have a partial sea view. And then if you want a direct sea view room, you need to book a Serenity Ocean view room. And then that's the view that you will get from this room. Um, so uh, the maximum occupancy in these rooms are two adults and two kids below six years old. So one child below six years old can be accommodated here on the sofa. We will convert this sofa into the very comfortable bed, um, we put the rails so the child will not fall, uh, fall for sure. And then we um, can place here one baby cot. Please be careful, we cannot place an extra bed in the standard room types. This is um, absolutely impossible because Half of the room is taken by these beautiful bathrooms. Look at that, they are stunning. Like imagine yourself on this bathtub at the sunset, drinking the Prosecco. It's very romantic atmosphere over here. So I highly recommend to book it for your honeymooners. So um, if you want to accommodate the, the family, there are two options. Either we book two standard rooms, and then uh, connecting rooms will be subject to availability or we um, can offer you accommodation in the suite. Uh, the, here we can place an extra bed in the baby court or accommodate two adults and two kids and one child can sleep here on the sofa and one child can sleep uh, at the extra, on the extra bed. The suites have beautiful sea views, it's guaranteed sea views, there are no other option, just the sea view. All the rooms are with the balconies, of course, and then um, from the size of the room is 110 square meters. Um, to have a higher chance to get a connecting set, I would recommend to book a suite with the Serenity Ocean View room. Um, and then in this case, you can accommodate a bigger family. Those uh, who book a suite, we offer um, some benefits. 
you will get a complimentary one-way Dubai airport transfer. If you book a suite for five nights and more, you get a complimentary breakfast in the room. Um, if you don't want to go to the restaurant, so you have the option of uh, the breakfast in the room. And then um, another benefit is the complimentary sunset drink at the, our lobby lounge at Docha. It's a daily benefit, so you get a kind of a platter together with your drink. And my favorite room type is the Harmony two-bedroom oceanfront residential suite. We have six rooms of those um, with two bedroom and three bedrooms. They have beautiful terraces with the best view of the sea, um, with the private jacuzzis and the cabanas at the terraces. Um, for those who book these type of rooms, we also give the complimentary one-way airport transfer. We give a butler service, complimentary cabana by the beach. And we also give a complimentary sunset drinks in the comfort of the room because believe me, you will not want to leave this room. And that's the facilities of the resort. We have three beautiful outdoor pools um, with the private 500 meters long beach. And let me take you to the villa. Uh, villa has a huge garden and the whole surroundings will uh, take around 4,400 square meters. It has a private pool, um, private beach, and believe me, this is one of the best beaches in Dubai, especially for villa when you have open view, open beach, no construction around, no other buildings around, and natural waves. And... Um, and uh, Villa has a private pool, private gym, and uh, even the barbecue place. If you go inside, then uh, here you can find four bedrooms, one master bedroom here on the ground floor. You can see it's on the picture, a uh, three bedroom upstairs. Additionally, you have two bedrooms for the staff in case someone is traveling with nannies or security. Um, the, the, the bar area and the fully equipped kitchen. And there is also one media room inside. Um, there is also an option to connect the, vil uh, the villa with the building and add another six bedrooms in case you have a very big family. We can offer a 10 bedroom villa. In this case, look at these views. You can get the stunning pictures with the wheel, with all this greenery. Imagine yourself there. Um, villa comes with a butler service. We give a complimentary breakfast in the villa. All other amenities are customized um, based on the client preferences, so we can discuss it additionally. Then where do we eat? So we have a few options. Um, our recently launched Japanese tea house uh, lobby lounge. This is a must see, uh, mu must be placed, especially for the sunset. Look at this terrace. The sunset is beautiful here. Um, you can get a drink before your dinner and then move to one of the restaurants. So um, we have a few options for dinner. First is Alize, is our Mediterranean cuisine restaurant. Uh, it works for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, the breakfast here is a la carte, and we serve only a la carte breakfast. This also goes in line with our concept of relaxing. You don't have to queue, you don't have to rush. You just can come to the restaurant, enjoy, order your coffee, the breakfast, and enjoy the views and um, tranquility. Uh, the dinner is served in a la carte as well. Then the second option for dinner is the Demon Duck by our, our three-star Michelin chef Alvin Lung. We are offering Chinese cuisine here. This is the first restaurant of this chef in the Middle East, and he's really trying to um, twist a Chinese cuisine with a little bit of um, Middle Eastern flavor. This is also a la carte restaurant. And another option is a Kisa. This is authentic Japanese restaurant. Everything here is from Japan. The chef, the owner, they bring all the ingredients from Japan three times per week. At the moment, we have a very special promotion. You book a breakfast, you get the half board complimentary, so you can get a dinner in uh, either Alize or Dimandak, absolutely compliment complimentary as a three course um, set menu. So you get a starter, main course, and a dessert. And the kids go three free all year round, so you don't pay for kids on the same meal plan as parents. The child age is uh, below 12 years old. And let me show you uh, surroundings. Uh, so 
uh, we have, uh, as I mentioned before, we have three swimming pools. Um, that one on the picture is only for adults. So you can have a very quiet atmosphere here. We also have a kids club. Um, so the parents can bring the kids to the kids club and come to the adult pool and enjoy their time. The kids club is open for the kids from three to 12 years old uh, without um, their company. And in case the child is um, one or two, then um, the parents need to be with, uh, with the child. Uh, we have different activities in the kids club, um, the painting, different classes, I don't know, they're, they're watching the cartoons. Um, so the, the child is entertained throughout the day. And from 10 until 7 p.m. they're working. And of course, the key selling point of the resort is the open beach with the real waves. This is, uh, this is the view that your client gets. Um, it's really quiet there. They can really enjoy uh, the atmosphere and listen to the uh, natural sound of waves and to reconnect with the nature, with themselves, with the people around. Um, and of course, Banyan Tree is really famous for Banyan Tree Spa concept. Um, that's uh, what we are uh, working on. And very soon we are going to have um, the, the special um, rainforest room with the yoga deck. We already implement a lot of uh, wellness activities. Um, this is for just an example of what your client will get. Uh, we give a complimentary yoga, complimentary pilates, a lot of uh, different wor uh, workshops, like for example, a matcha workshop is absolutely complimentary. There are some paid activities as well, like a sound healing, but everything is created for the client um, to, um, to really relax not only the body, but also the mind and the soul during the time they spend in the hotel. And let me remind you on all the promotions that we are running at the moment. Um, the, the sweet offer, as I mentioned, that we have a complimentary airport transfer, complimentary breakfast in the room, complimentary sunset drinks in the lobby lounge. Plus, we are given um, a special promotion until 30th of April. This is valid for all the contracted partners and the tour operators. So you can book it via your preferred DMC or tour operator. You can get a state discount up to 60%, complimentary meal plan upgrade, and kids go free promotion. And our new addition to the offer is the summer kids all-inclusive. So uh, regardless of the meal plan of the parent, the kid can eat throughout the day during the whole summer absolutely free of charge. And for those on my booking rewards, we're given one point for every three nights booking. So you can get a complimentary night for your personal vacation. And we really encourage everyone to come and experience the resort because it's much better than on the pictures. Um, here are my contact details. Please feel free to reach out to me in case you have a qu any question about the hotel, um, about the bookings. I will be very happy to assist you. Thank you very much for listening. I hope it was not that very fast. Arena, thank you very much. It was very fast, but it was very good. And it was great <laughs> to see the hotel. Um, you've got a lot of fans in the audience. Um, I think it was Daniel. He's there. He's right. He's there. He's picked his villa. Um, it's all good. Now we're heading over to the wonderful brand new hotel in Barbados. Peter, over to you. Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm just having a few technical issues. Just need to return back to the oh. do excuse me. Right then. Is it working now? It sure is. I do apologize for that brief technical challenge. So I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about uh, the newest property on the island of Barbados in the Caribbean. It's called Wyndham Grand Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. So this property sits on the Sam Lord's Castle Estate. Now I hear you say, who on earth was this 
person called Sam Lord. Well, Samuel Hall Lord was a buccaneer and a pirate from the 1800s, and this was his estate, this where he lived. And if you can see in the distance there, you can see what is actually Sam Lord's castle. In the middle of the screen, it's a white building. The rest of the screen, obviously, the buildings didn't exist. That's the new, brand new property. So Sam Lord was a pirate, and he forced arriving ships arriving into Bridgetown Harbour to ground themselves onto the reefs that sit opposite off the, the coast of this hotel and break apart. Sam Lord used to then send his merry men out on to, uh, to take and plunder the ships and bring it back, and that's how he became a very wealthy gentleman. So not a very nice history, but this property is actually brand new, only opened in October last year, and it's Barbados' newest five-star all-inclusive resort. It's owned by the government of Barbados, so it's a very different concept to every other hotel on the island, and it's a bit of a game-changer for the island. So it's designed to attract a new type of customer to Barbados wanting a large-scale all-inclusive resort um, on a, a lovely stretch of beach um, and where are we located we're located just a short 15-minute transfer from the Barbados airport BGI code um, it's on the southeast corner of the island on the in the parish of St Philip um, on arrival, your guests will be met in the lobby, or we call it the breezeway. The breezeway is a very major architectural piece of the hotel. It sits right in the middle of the hotel. Uh, you arrive, and your guests, uh, if they're traveling as individual guests, check in on the right, and group guests check in on the left-hand side. Walk to the end of the, the breezeway, and then you have a wonderful view overlooking our main central swimming pool and out to the ocean. So um, it's quite a wow experience on arrival. Uh, your guests are met with a team that will whisk them to their rooms. And in total, we have 422 rooms at this property. So it is actually now Barbados' largest hotel or resort. Of that 422 rooms, we have a total of 37 lovely luxury suites in, in a few different categories. So the rooms are modern, spacious, contemporary, all have a large balcony. Um, and the, the this happens to be a balcony of one of the suites. And actually, all the suites have two separate balconies. And all the suites are located on the higher floors, the top two floors of the property, with magnificent ocean views from all the terraces and suites. So this, we don't have any standard rooms at this property. This is a deluxe resort view room with king bed. So these rooms, the deluxe rooms, are 650 square foot, fully air conditioned, and we have deluxe resort view rooms with king bed, but we also have them with two queen beds as well. Um, so deluxe resort view, deluxe ocean view, each with king beds, and two queen beds. Now, the nice thing about this property is that we have a large number of king bedded rooms with deluxe category connecting into deluxe rooms with two queen beds. So if you have a family of two adults and four children, by booking two rooms and requesting interconnecting rooms, you can accommodate them in comfort and ease. You also have the option to upgrade to the suites as well, but the two deluxe category rooms, one of the king bed, one of the two queen beds, enables you to accommodate that larger family that needs some space and room to lay out. As I mentioned, we have 37 lovely suites. The terrace suite is our entry category in the suite category. And remember, every suite has two separate balconies. Um, the terrace suite is very spacious. Um, this is the living room of a terrace suite. Um, as you can see, each deluxe room and suite has a minibar fully stocked minibar, which is replenished daily. Uh, the terrace suites and all the suites have a wet bar area, which has a sink and um, a dining table area. And it's a lot of space to relax and spread out. So the ember suite is the next category. And the ember suites, this happens to be a bedroom of an ember suite with two separate balconies, very spacious. Um, the next category up is a Zephyr suite. Um, this happens to be a a living room of a Zephyr suite. You can see the large balcony sitting off the living room. And then uh, one of the highest categories that we have of suites is our ocean suite. So the ocean suite is one step down from our presidential suite. Um, this is the largest. It also has a hot tub out on the balcony as well. So this is spacious accommodation for those that are demanding the, the large space, lovely location, um, and wonderful views of that Caribbean ocean. 
So as I mentioned, we are a luxury all-inclusive resort. So the all-inclusive program includes all meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at a choice of restaurants. Um, mini bar is stocked daily and is stocked with uh, soft drinks, waters, juices, and beers. Um, 24 hours room service, seven days a week is included uh, in the all-inclusive program at no additional charge. So our inclusions in terms of beverage are international brand name spirits, cocktails and beers, and wine served by the glass. Now, in terms of international brand name spirits or liquors, we, we use and serve brands that you'll be familiar with, like vodka, for example, is Absolute Vodka, or it is Stolichnaya Vodka. However, if you have a demanding guest who wants the best, we have top shelf brands available locally. For example, Vodka, Grey Goose, um, Chiroc and Belvedere is available, but it's a small additional charge, payable locally and chargeable to the account. So we've gone for a quality international brand name inclusion in terms of all inclusive liquors and spirits. Lots of activities at the property, so lots to see and do while you're there, but I'll come on to that a little later. So at the moment, we opened in October uh, 2023, and we are still in a soft opening phase where we don't have all restaurants and facilities fully open at the moment. We have a choice of uh, five restaurants and bars open and operational, but once fully open, we'll have a total of 10 food and beverage outlets at the property. The international Mediterranean market is, as it says, a Mediterranean market featuring the best cuisine of the Mediterranean region in five different cooking stations. Castle View is our fine dining steak and seafood restaurant. And that's available to guests aged 12 and above. Burnt cask is our adults only rum bar. Now, the Lantern Pool Bar is poolside, and the Summerwoods Grill is casual American-style uh, burgers, pizzas, and snacks, etc. So once we're fully open, we will have a choice of up to 10 dining options. So lots to do, as I mentioned. Um, this is our lovely stretch of beach. So this is an aerial view looking back at the property from the south, looking northwards. Um, you can see the castle on the left side of the main image and the property there smack in the middle overlooking the bay. So you can see that we sit on a bluff um, overlooking the beach and access to the beach is through the trees that you can see here from in front of the castle through the trees. There's about 30 different steps that lead you down to the beach area. Now, apart from those steps, everywhere else on the property is, is step-free access. All the rooms, restaurants, bars, swimming pools, and all of the facilities on the level of the hotel have been designed with those with mobility challenges in mind. Now, in addition, we have a total of 20 mobility accessible rooms as well, with wider doors, rolling showers, bathrooms that have been adapted, and the, and the furniture is lower. So this property has been designed to cater to guests who have those mobility challenges, maybe an, an elderly guest or somebody who has, has, has those challenges so just as a, as a point of reference it's a great property for those apart from the access to the beach now in addition we have five separate swimming pools in the main part of the resort and one in the dedicated spa area we have tennis courts pickleball courts we have a jogging area we have a gymnasium the gymnasium is just about to open next week um golf course is nearby the barbados golf club is only a 20 to 25 minute drive away and um, lots of activities for the guests. In addition, we've now included four separate shuttle transfers a week, and they go to areas on the island of Barbados that have special interests. For example, a very famous place to go on a Friday evening is Oystins for the Fish Fry. It's where the locals and the visitors come together and celebrate a wonderful evening on the beach with local fish fry and its um, guests receive a complimentary shuttle transfer, leaving late afternoon, returning uh, late evening. So that's an example of trying to get the guests out of the hotel to experience a bit of the Barbadian culture. We are family friendly. So the property accepts guests of all ages from families with young children through couples um, and also single guests, but also with, with corporate guests and, and meetings and events in mind as well. We have large meeting facilities. So lots of entertainment for children. Um, activities, daytime, arts and crafts, 
face painting, picnics, nature walks. We have a children's club that is fully open um, that offers different forms of entertainment. And in, in the evening, we have talent shows, kiddies disco, movie night, lots of things to keep children of all ages very well entertained. The kids club and the children's program is complimentary. There is third party babysitting services available and that's at an additional charge. Now, next month, our lovely new spa opens, and this will feature seven treatment rooms, uh, a great choice of uh, massage and other therapies. Uh, these are at an additional charge. They're not included within the all-inclusive program, but the spa will open next month and will offer guests a really true pampering delight and a wellness program that is designed to soothe all those aches and strains from everyday life. Weddings are very important for Barbados, and this hotel will offer a great choice of weddings in various locations, on the beach, in front of the castle, so we have a lovely lawn in front of Samuel's Castle. Banqueting-wise, we have the largest ballroom on the island, so we can cater up some very large weddings, if you so have guests that want to bring the extended family with them, or it's just a simple, intimate wedding for just the, the bride and groom. So it's entirely up to the guest as to how they do that. We have a wedding team on site that can personalize a wedding to the tastes and requirements of each guest. As I mentioned, we do specialize in conferences and meetings. The ballroom has large capacity. It's the largest ballroom on the island of Barbados, with up to 800 people in, in, in capacity in theater style, banqueting 700. And that's a picture at the bottom of the front of, or in front of Sam Lord's Castle. It's the, uh, the castle lawn, and that's great for banqueting, especially for wedding banquets as well. So this is a layout, a map of the of the resort. It shows the, the location of all five buildings of the property. Um, building number one, two, three, four, and five are accommodation blocks where all the rooms. And the nice thing about this property is what when, when it was built, all the rooms face towards the ocean. So there's no rooms facing backwards and inland. Uh, block number seven is the conference center and meeting rooms. Um, so you can see how it's located overlooking the beach and how it's located very close to Sam Lord's Castle. So I'm going to play you a quick video that will hopefully bring it all alive. I'll be quiet while this plays. And that's it from me. Thank you very much to everybody um, for joining us this evening. Um, have a look at the website, windhamgrandbarbados.com. I'll also send you a link very shortly to access more information about the property and also download um, a fact sheet if you so wish. Um, also, we offer travel agents discounts of 40% off the best available rates. So please come and stay with us and explore the wonderful island of Barbados. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much, PT. Getting lots of love there, lots of love hearts. So um, any questions, you, please pop them into the Q&A. So thank you for that, Pete, Peter. We're now going to move across to Riviera Nayarit. We've got Polo. Polo, over to you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. So we will be now traveling to Mexico, uh, not too far from Barbados. Well, at least closer than Dubai. Let me just uh, share my uh, screen, my presentation. So... Um, let me see. So we're obviously here on the um, on the state of Nayarit. So basically, we're traveling to a um, a place. Uh, the title of this presentation is the Mexico yet to be discovered. So Nayarit is one of those places in Mexico that are quite unknown, particularly for the European uh, public, for the European travelers. So hopefully, you will discover something completely different from what uh, 
uh, you are used uh, to see in Mexico. So we are on the Pacific coast. The state of Nayarit is on the west coast of Mexico. Uh, it is uh, located in the mouth of the very well-known um, Sea of Cortez, which is that uh, area that has a high, high concentration of all sorts of animals. Uh, a very, very nice place for uh, professional divers and for amateur divers as well. We are located within that area in the Sea of Cortez, just as the, uh, at, at the mouth of that beautiful area. Um, we are a quite small state uh, for Mexican standards. Uh, that means that uh, it can be visited uh, in many, many different uh, places that we will discover today. It's quite small, quite easy to um, to uh, to travel around this uh, this place uh, here. One of the main assets that we have here, as uh, in most of the coasts uh, in Mexico, obviously, it's our climate. However, we have some specificities here in this area of the Pacific coast, which are quite unusual, and uh, these are very positive things for us. We have a very nice microclimate, a very, very stable climate, so we don't have many hurricanes that we can uh, encounter on the especially on the caribbean side so it's more more much more stable and also a very specific thing here is that the as opposed to other places in the mexican uh, pacific coast the water here is quite warm uh, all uh, all year round. So it means that our beaches are swimmable because they are warmer and also because we have very uh, nice base as we will discover uh, on this presentation. So it's a destination that is definitely a swimmable place as opposed to many other places within the Mexican Pacific coast. So very uh, nice for families or for those who really enjoy uh, not only looking at the uh, beautiful ocean, but also um, uh, swimming in the, into the ocean. Another important um, asset of our destination here, talking about the coast of the state of Nayarit, is our biodiversity. As I mentioned before, we are in a very, very um, uh, special place, uh, this Sea of Cortez that is full of all sorts of uh, tropical fish, dolphins, endemic animals. But we also have uh, some very beautiful visitors that come every year between the month of um, November and March. It's the whales that come from Alaska and Northern uh, Pacific uh, coasts in Canada uh, that come every year to mate and have their babies here in the Bay uh, of Banderas, which is one of the areas uh, in this area in Nayarit. Uh, so it's a very popular uh, destination for whale watching uh, uh, well watching but in general this is a place where uh, a lot of our visitors enjoy and they choose this area because of the different encounters that offers in terms of uh, animals endemic and uh, also uh, visitors as well so we have the whales of course we have all sorts of birds we are a very very important uh, destination for bird watching in mexico we have uh, this very beautiful uh, uh uh, blue-footed bobby animal that comes from this area as well. We're very, very biodiverse. We have a very uh, nice endemic uh, species of uh, dolphins all year around. So that can be whenever the whales are not there, you can also uh, be sure to see some uh, dolphins and turtles, especially in the summer, and many other animals living in the mountains. Um, we have here also uh, an important aspect uh, for those who enjoy uh, cultural uh, science uh, when they visit Mexico as well. As uh, on the Caribbean side, you know very well that's the area where the Mayans live still today. Uh, and you can find in that area all the archaeological sites of the Mayans. On this side of Mexico, we also have a completely different culture that is called the Wirrarica culture. It's one of the three main peoples, original peoples who um, who live there. Uh, it's the, the one that is more visible. Uh, so we call them in Spanish huichol, which is a uh, 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 Hispanic name, but originally they're called huirarica. And most of the uh, places in Nayarit are um, 
inspired by the culture of the Wirrarica people, whether it's the hotels that are always, uh, the design is inspired by these very colorful um, um, robes and, uh, um, and, um, and clothes that they, that they wear. And many of the uh, experiences in the area as well, for example, uh, wellness experiences are inspired by these people as well, whether it's a local Temascal experience, for example, or all the different spas that are available in the hotels in this area are very, very often inspired by the Wirrarica people as well. So there's some um, depth to that experience as well. So it's not only a wellness experience, but it's a, a Wirrarica wellness experience, which uh, might be uh, attractive for some of your clients. Also gastronomy, of course, is very much inspired by uh, the local uh, population, the Wirrarica and some other people. So these people live in the mountains originally, but they can be seen also in the in the coast. Uh, and they have uh, a lot to uh, share with the visitors, of course, their view of the cosmos and uh, very, very nice uh, view of the place of humans in the planet. Um, gastronomy, as I mentioned before, so we, in my opinion, uh, in Nayarit have one of the best gastronomies in Mexico. Um, obviously, it's very much inspired, well, not inspired, but uh, made of uh, of uh, local uh, produce from the sea. So a lot of seafood, fresh seafood, uh, a lot of fresh fish as well, a lot of products from the mountains, the surrounding mountains. We are just uh, sitting uh, next to one of the largest mountain ranges in Mexico. Uh, obviously, that provides us with a lot of fresh produce, so a lot of um, very low carbon uh, impacts in this area and very, very uh, many um, opportunities uh, for to experience the gastronomy even for vegans or vegetarians because we have all these produce from the mountain as well that make a very nice uh, Mexican uh, gastronomy specific from, from uh, Nayarit. Um, so some, uh, just to give you an overview of the type of uh, place, so we have 23 micro destinations within the coast of uh, Nayarit, which is called the Riviera Nayarit. It's probably the most visited uh, area in the state, the coast, of course. Very, um, very diverse uh, places with, uh, among these 23 micro destinations. Most of them are located within a radius of um, one hour and a half from the main airport in the region, which is the Puerto Vallarta Airport. Puerto Vallarta uh, belongs to a different state, the state of Jalisco. We're neighbors, but we use, or most of the visitors use the airport in Puerto Vallarta. It's only 10 minutes away from uh, the state of the border with the state of Nayarit. So most of the destinations, so those who that are most visited today are within a radius of uh, one hour and a half, two hours from that main airport. So this is the type of destination that you will see there. So as I mentioned before, a lot of mountains, a beautiful ocean, of course, very lush, very green, particularly in the summer. So basically in the region, as in the rest of Mexico, we have two seasons, uh, the summer season, which is kind of the rainy season. However, in this area in particular, uh, the rain comes always at the same time, usually by dinner time. So between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. Uh, you get a uh, really beautiful because it's beautiful um, uh, torrential rain for about 25 minutes. Uh, it refreshes the uh, the area and the area is much more lush than uh, the rest of the year. And then we have the winter, of course, uh, that is a little bit drier. Uh, so there's no rain uh, and that's when the uh, whales come and all the uh, um, the birds as well. So it's an all, all year round uh, destination. So as I mentioned, a lot of opportunities to um, um, be surrounded by uh, this very lush nature. Most of the hotels that we have here, and most of them are uh, kind of the in the boutique or high higher end uh, kind of uh, segment. But as you can see here, they're mostly um, nestled between be, uh, among the uh, the vegetation. So in here you can see. Probably in the in the middle of the of the picture, you see a hotel that is called Imanta Hotel. It's one of the uh, hallmark hotels in the region. It's a wellness center, very beautiful hotel that is nestled really within the mountain. Uh, that um, when when you are uh, in the hotel, you feel really remote, uh, but you're never too far from the airport, never too far from Puerto Vallarta, or never too far from a road that connects you to other places. But really, the feeling of being there is uh, being within the uh, 
the nature. Uh, because we are on the west coast of Mexico, as opposed to the Caribbean side, we have beautiful sunsets. Uh, we, it's a very romantic destination, very, very much, uh, you know, very popular for all sorts of um, weddings and honeymoons and uh, anniversaries and uh, all that kind of romantic um, um, happenings. Uh, so very, very popular, very beautiful sunsets. We have some unique places, like, for example, this one, the uh, among many others, but the island uh, that is uh, very well known, the Marietas Islands, it's a protected uh, um, area only uh, 30 people at a time can uh, enter uh, now so it's very well protected and only 100 120 people per day so it's important to book through a local dmc or a local um, cooperative that sells these tickets to go into these uh, islands and it's a unique experience as well many uh, beaches of course all of them are sandy either um uh, golden sand or even some of them are uh, white sanded beaches as well uh, as as white and as uh, thin as uh, the ones you can find on the Caribbean on the Mexican Caribbean uh, so really really uh, beautiful uh, I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation so most of our beaches are swimmable if not all of them obviously there's some that are in the base and are a little bit more a little bit easier but most of them all almost all of them are swimmable so you have all this um, kind of feeling of uh, pacific coast uh, feeling you know this um, uh, palm tree uh, um, beaches full of uh, palm trees you have also other places in the Riviera Nayarit like this one which are a little bit more um, let's say developed in terms of infrastructure this is the closest uh, to the Puerto Vallarta city on the neighboring Jalisco state only five minutes away from the airport, uh, International Airport of Puerto Vallarta. So you can find also if your clients uh, need some uh, uh, additional infrastructure. We have in this area three uh, out of the nine golf courses that we have in Nayarit. So three of them are located within this uh, town here that is called Nuevo Nayarit. It used to be called Nuevo Vallarta. So some of you might be more familiar with the name Nuevo Vallarta. Uh, now it's been renamed uh, after the state, so Nuevo Nayarit, but it's the same place. So three golf courses, we have uh, uh, some shopping uh, centers, some uh, uh, restaurants as well, many hotels. The important uh, factor of this uh, area is that all the hotels have access to the beach. And as you can see, it's a very wide and very long beach as well with a very nice sandy beach as well um so it never feels crowded you will never feel in Nayarit a crowded uh, beach it's really a huge beach that you will find in any hotel that you'll be staying and in particular in that area uh, is where you can find the um, uh, all-inclusive hotels more family oriented but all of them are very contemporary quite new so very very nice Another area, for example, in particular for the luxury segment is the Punta Mita. So Punta de Mita is a, a name in, by itself in Mexico. It's a destination by itself. Well, it is within the state of Nayarit. This Punta de Mita uh, has two sections. One is a private section. It's a gated community where you have, for example, two golf courses. The Four Seasons is there. The... Um, 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 Oh, I forgot now the name. Sorry. Uh, well, we'll see it later. Uh, but we have some hotels within that gated community uh, as well. But some of them are in the open community by the town of Punta de Mita, which is a very beautiful town where most of the tours to go to the Mariet Marietas Islands uh, live. Uh, and where you have also local restaurants and a local life. It's within this uh, peninsula as well, very exclusive peninsula, very beautiful. And that's where the sandy, uh, white sandy beaches can be found. And, you know, the color of the of the sea that is uh, almost uh, as the Caribbean side of Mexico. But also in this area, you find um, uh, some towns, very authentic towns, in particular this one, which is uh, the town of Sayulita, uh, where you can find a lot of locals and local events, local um, things going on just there uh, it's a very famous town a favorite uh, of the visitors i recommend to any visitor whether they're staying in an ultra luxury property uh, to go at least uh, once or twice to have dinner outside of the property in these towns which are really really as we will see later they're called magical towns and there is a reason uh, why they are called magical towns they're really 
really authentic sounds very peaceful very nice and uh, and um, and interesting well the novelty in the state of Nayarit is as I mentioned before it's we've only covered uh, today we will be only covering the coast uh, 300 kilometer coast but uh, we are developing uh, many routes into the state into the mountains that can be uh, very interesting for those who are more adventurous at the moment but very soon hopefully they will be available to anyone for example the uh, road that connects the second largest city in mexico called guadalajara to this area in the riviera nayarit uh, will be open by the end of this year so it'll be very easy to do for example some days in guadalajara then visit the famous town of tequila where the tequila comes from and then uh, drive onto the riviera nayarit as well to end your your trip in uh, all luxury in the in the in, in the coast of uh, Nayarit. So many options. I will just show you a few of them, but there are many, many options. So we have nine magical towns in Mexico. What is called a magical town is a town that has some particular interest or tourist interest, whether it's because it's very beautiful, very colorful, or there is a very specific gastronomy or specific uh, event or something. So they have this uh, this name, it's a magical town. In Nayarit, we have nine of them. Uh, in, in all Mexico is 150 something. In Nayarit, we have nine. And all of them are also accommodation centers within uh, all over the state. So many options. Some uh, some ideas just for now, for the future. Now for the most adventurous, but for the future, why not? Much more connected. The town of Mezcaltitan, which is uh, quite remote, north in the state, very beautiful. Uh, it's the, one of the main places for for um, prawns in Mexico. So gastronomy is very strong in that uh, little uh, remote town. It's within an area, protected area, where you can find a lot of uh, wildlife and also one of the main destinations for bird watching as well. Uh, Islas Marias, with, uh, it's, it's some islands that used to be until 2019 a prison. It's like the Alcatraz of Mexico that in 2020 have been uh, reconverted. So the prison has uh, closed now and they've been reconverted into a, a tourist uh, destination so very nice place to go for three nights it's all organized by the army that, because the army has still the the, the 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 control on this island because it used to be prison so they still have the control for a few years but they organize this uh, organ the, the, these uh, tours for three nights and you can stay in the cells and some experiences uh, to uh, to discover but most of all it's a protected natural area with a beautiful beautiful uh, environment of course natural environment beautiful sea and a very nice ferry that takes you uh, there. And then many opportunities of hiking all over the state. As I mentioned before, a lot of history. So within Mexico, this area is very historical. I will not go into the detail, but on col in colonial times, this was the area that connected uh, Asia to Mexico because some parts of Asia, in particular the Philippines, used to be Spanish. Mexico used to be Spanish. And this was the area where the two areas connected. So the Philippines with Mexico and so it's a very historic uh, area and that's also why the gastronomy is very good because we have a lot of Asian um, uh, influences in this area with the what we call in Mexico ceviches but originally they come from Asia um, have I, is it my, my time oh I'm uh, well many many options and just to finish uh, uh, a list that I will uh, share with you of the hotels that you can use where to stay so we have 70 hotels most of them are kind of as i mentioned uh, luxury high-end and um, uh, boutique hotels so you have the list here many options uh really beautiful so some images and i will share this presentation with you obviously later and i'm here for anything you need new developments it's an area that is really becoming uh, one of the top luxury destinations in mexico uh, and yeah, I'm here for anything you need. I'm based in Europe, but uh, I'm uh, here uh, available always uh, to respond to any any questions now or later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah. Thank Time you flies. Can... No, it flies. Exactly. And everybody was so engrossed <laughs> in the presentation. I think you could have gone on for another two hours. Um, yeah, it's yeah, really exactly. interesting. Next time. <laughs>
yeah well it's amazing to sort of learn about a new but well it's not a new destination but a destination that I know quite a few don't know too much about so um yeah it's it's super it's got so many options available um so Philip just said yeah so much more than I thought spectacular which is very true that's why it's great that you can come on and uh do the trainings so that everybody is aware so thank you so thank you to Polo, Peter and Arena um, I know the team have been answering the questions behind the scenes um Alison you've asked a question about is there a, cert a certification training for this hotel for agents I presume you mean Banyan Tree um and the, there's no training program at the moment you don't have anything do you Arena any form of training no no so not at the moment um but if you log on to Banyan Tree Rewards there's a lots and lots of information on the program um and also there's a lot of different webinars where we've covered go lives and various parts of the hotel so you will learn more on that uh Pamela's asked Polo what did you call the Indians on the Nayarit site I will write. Uh, so they're called originally they're called Wirrarica, uh, but we call them in Spanish Wichol. Uh, so I will, I will write that uh, there. Good call. <laughs> Wichol, yes, Wirrarica. Um, and can I get a picture of the magical towns again to take a photograph? Um, but you're going to send the presentation out anyway, aren't you? So yes, I will share the presentation in videos. We have a lot of material uh, of the of all over the, the states. Super, super. So as a reminder, you've all got a prize draw point for being on the webinar as an attendee today. Um, during the presentations, um, I hope you are listening very carefully because we have a couple of questions that, well, a question each that everybody's going to ask you. If you are the fastest finger with the correct answer, you get your 10 points. Tomorrow, what I do is I put you all in a spin to win and I will let you know when I send the follow up and uh, the copy of the recording who the winners are. So let's have a look. Arena, let's go first. So everybody go to chat. Make sure your drop down says everyone. And it is the fastest finger with the correct answer. So Arena, what is your question, please? Uh, you're muted, so you need to unmute. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if it's very difficult, but let me try. If not, we will change it. If anyone maybe remembers what was the name of Three Star Michelin Chef, in one of our restaurants. Three star. Oh, I think I know this one. Yes. Oh, someone has a very good memory. Yeah. I but see the correct answer. I do. Yeah. yeah, but he's he's very very famous. And he's on the um the program, isn't he? Uh master that yeah, master master yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay, Shanice, you were the first person with the correct answer. Okay, Peter. Hi, everyone. Thanks very much for listening today and for joining us. Um, so at the moment, we have five food and beverage offer offers available at the hotel. But by the middle of the year, by the end of June, we'll have a total of 10 available. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> easy going. Easy, Tigers. Um, what is the name of our fine dining steak and seafood restaurant at Wyndham Grand Barbados? Ooh. That's a hard one, Peter. Well, um, I did mention it in the presentation. So congratulations. That is the correct answer. So Thank Castle you. View is the correct Castle answer. View. So Chris is the first person. Uh, Chris Hockman, popping your name down. Perfect. And well done, everybody. You have all got many correct answers, which is brilliant. Thank you, Peter. And Polo. My turn. Um, yes. So it's an easy one. I, well, I, I hope. Uh, what is the name of the luxury um, peninsula in Nayarit that I mentioned? This very exclusive area. Oh, that, uh, just, yes, just now. <laughs> Stacey's got it. Nice. Yeah. Um, Looks very spelling. nice. Can't does remember it though. Be, does it have to be spelled exactly? No. Well, it, it's, uh, punta, it's Punta Mita or Punta de Mita. That's the, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, they're all good. Punta Mita, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Stacy was the fastest. You do well to remember these names. That's one thing I can never remember is a name. But a big, big thank you. I'm sure everybody's really thoroughly enjoyed the webinars today with the all the presentations. Um, don't forget 
these hotels and destinations, the trade friendly, they're here to help you. If you've got anything else that you need, any questions, please do not hesitate to contact them. Um, and in return, of course, send lots and lots of bookings their way. So a big thank you, everybody. Thank you for attending today. And thank you very much to Polo, Peter and Arena. You're amazing. We love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Thank Great to see everyone. Thank you for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed and I hope you found it productive. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Thank Thanks, everyone.